Good day. Tree Mugs here. So we've slowly been working our way through the arborist knots that my apprentice James is going to need to know for school. And we realized that I hadn't uh, showed him how to tie the end line clove with two half hitches. And this is very much by design just because I dislike the clove hitch so much and I never use it for anything. Uh, just because it has the uh, potential to roll out and actually come right off of a piece. Um, and when this is more, most likely to happen is in a shock loading situation or any time a piece is able to rotate in the air. Once it hits the rope, if it can rotate, there's a possibility that this can come out. So I don't use the clove hitch for anything. But James will need to know how to tie this for school. And there are still lots of people who like to use this for rigging. So take a look at how we tie this. So we're just going to go around and under itself and then we're going to continue in the same direction but on top around again and then to finish the tail is going to tuck through like that. So that's the clove hitch. You can see the symmetry there. The way I, that I remember it is that it enters and it exits from the middle and it crosses over itself at that point. So that's the clove itself, and then in an end line fashion like this, uh, you're required uh, to use at least two half hitch backups. So one, two, some people use even more, which just strikes me as funny that you would need two or three backups on your supposedly great rigging knot, but I digress. Okay, so let's look at it one more time. So we're going to go around, under itself, continue in the same direction but on top, like this, and then we're going to tuck the tail like that. So that's the clove, and it requires at least two half hitch backups. Now there is uh, an additional means of backing it up that Jerry Baronic shows in his book, The Fundamentals of General Tree Work and it is the bowlin finish. So instead of uh, doing your two half hitches, he's throwing a bowlin on it, like this. And the reasoning behind that is that this allows you to load each of the legs equally in the clove hitch. So if you're going to use this method, you're most likely, after you tie your bowlin, you're probably gonna have to redress it just a bit, just to make sure that both of these legs are of equal length and therefore so that they can load equally. So that's one option, uh, additional option for finishing your clove hitch. So again, the standard method is just clove hitch with two half hitches.